In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a confirmatory tetrad analysis. So first, conceptually, what is a tetrad analysis? It's a way to determine statistically whether a factor is best specified as formative or reflective. As you can see here, all of my factors are specified reflectively at the moment because the arrows point from the latent factor to the manifest variables. If I were to right click this and say invert measurement model, then all the arrows would point towards it and that would be considered a formative factor. But if we want to determine this statistically or provide evidence that what we've done is valid, then what we can do is run a confirmatory tetrad analysis. Conceptually, again, what it does is it takes a couple of the manifest variables and correlates them and then subtracts the correlations of a couple more of the manifest variables. And it does this in pairs. If the result is no different from zero, then those indicators are strongly correlated, indicating that they're probably reflective. If the difference is different from zero, well then those aren't strongly interchangeable or highly correlated, and so it's more likely to be formative. So let's do this. Now it doesn't actually matter if your arrows are pointing in or out for this analysis. It will just ignore the direction of those arrows. For consistency, I'm just going to make sure this is set the way it was. But again, doesn't matter. All you have to do is calculate confirmatory tetrad analysis. This is going to do a lot of bootstrapping. If you can do parallel processing, do, it'll save you time, and hit start calculation. Nothing will show up on the model, but if you go to the report, you can then see the results for all factors that had at least four items. I should show you that. So we have at least four on these ones, even over on ethical concerns, and inside burnout for management, let me show you, we have six. So these will all get a report, whereas management unfairness and each of these lower order factors here will not get analysis because you have to have at least four indicators, hence the name Tetrad. Okay, back to the report. If we go look at burnout for management, what we're looking for is a p-value here that is non-significant, indicating that it is best measured reflectively, or if it is a significant p-value, i.e. less than 0.05 or 0.1 or whatever your threshold wants to be, then it is formative. So in this case, we are mostly less than 0.05, and the threshold is 80%. If 80% of your p-values are significant, then it's formative. If 80% are non-significant, then it's reflective. So in this case, it looks like burnout from management probably is best measured formatively. Let's go look at ethical concerns. These p-values are all above 0.05, so it is clearly reflective. Resource demand gap, both non-significant, so reflective, unsupportive boss, ooh, less than 0.05, so unsupportive boss is probably best measured formatively. So if we go look at that model, here's unsupportive boss, I should probably invert this. That's what the statistics are telling me would be the best way to measure it. Same with burnout for management. I should probably have these arrows from its lower order dimensions pointing at it instead of from burnout to the lower order dimensions. So to fix that, I would just click on each one, hit delete, delete, oops, control Z, delete, and then connect, and we go like this. And now we are measured in the optimal way according to the Tetrad analysis.